The Darkest Hour is a 2011 sci-fi action film. Uh, recently watched uh, Beyond Skyline and it reminded me of this film a little. This is a film that stars Emile Hirsch and didn't get a lot of praise when it first came out and I'm not sure why. Um, it's set in Russia and they make uh, what looks like extensive use of the Russian capital Moscow um, and it's set slightly before and then during and after an alien invasion. Um, it's got very clever elements to it with the main hook being that you can't see the aliens that are invading, they're invisible and they just sort of vaporise people when they attack. Um, if you're in the vicinity of them you just get whoosh, turned into dust. It transpires through the film that the um, the aliens have sort of electromagnetic capabilities and that you can use science to avoid, identify and defeat them. Um, there's lots of references to sort of Faraday cages and things like that that are explained throughout the film and make it more interesting. The key to these kind of sci-fi films is dropping enough science and explanation in there to get everyone thinking they're smart and they understand what's going on but without boring everyone with a Stephen Hawking like lecture. Um, it's got good action scenes, it's got lots of them, it's got clever use of the scenario um, and I think it's just an entertaining watch. The only thing that falls flat on me is sort of the very end where they uh, they end up on a sort of submarine and you, you feel like they wanted there to be sequels when really it could have done with being wrapped up maybe a bit more but it's certainly not a not a false ending or not a tease um, that makes you feel anything's unresolved it's just I suppose it has to end somewhere and you couldn't really have these characters uh, defeating the entire alien invasion force so I suppose it does make a bit more sense but maybe it's because I'm so used to seeing sort of big blockbuster endings where sort of the rock saves everyone um, but this is certainly a film you want to check out I think it's on streaming in the UK on I think it's on Netflix and possibly Amazon you have to check but it's certainly worth watching if you haven't seen it before and I really recommend you um, you check it out the acting the actors even in it are a good range of sort of young actors that don't necessarily get enough um, enough credit or enough um, chances to be in this kind of film and again you've got to watch these kind of films to make it so people know to make them um, so enjoy. <laughs>